Take a look at this piece of art. Isn't it one of the finest works of graphic art? Doesn't it make you wonder how much thought must be put in to blend the colors to form this aesthetically pleasing 3D sculpture image? Yeah, let's break it to you. This massively thought-intensive process is now replicable by an algorithmic code commonly known as AIs, and not just some limited types, because this new AI program would effortlessly design any and literally any piece of artwork. However abstract or real, if you enter a few text-based specifics of the art that you want, and by effortlessly, we mean with a speed of literally 10 seconds per one artwork. We must admit, the field of creativity should be far off the reach of AIs since it's a complex process for even humans, something we can't put steps to. It's just blending stuff until something goes right, and for AIs, they work with specific rules, so uncertainty should probably feel like math for an average high schooler, isn't it? So how is this DAL EAI, as they call it, beating that matrix? So if you're hooked enough, let's show you the exciting details of the extent to which it can create near-perfect artworks and what it means for us, or more importantly, the artists' folk out there, because they must feel all sorts of attacked with the sheer competition that this development puts them under, don't you think? So let's dig into the details. But for everyone who's new here, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we unravel the exciting new developments in the AI and robotics world, so if you find future technologies intriguing, then subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification for a ton of thrilling new videos coming your way. Now without further ado, let's move on to the video. What is AI DAL E2 and how is it different? So let's start off with what exactly this new AI program is. OpenAI, a Silicon Valley-based organization which we covered in our previous video, has introduced a new AI program called DAL-E2, and yes, as the name suggests, there was a DAL-E1, so you'd be correct to think that this is the advanced model of the same AI program. And as part of OpenAI's many advanced AI projects, this one is yet another exceptional and mind-blowingly accurate attempt at the convert text to image art AI code. And here's when things get a little weird as you can literally ask anything you want to see, however nonsensical, you would still manage to extract a high quality, extremely vivid or incredibly well illustrated image for you, and as we mentioned before, in under 10 seconds. The Vox website covers this closely with quote, you may have seen some weird and whimsical pictures floating around the internet recently. There's a Shiba Inu dog wearing a beret and black turtleneck, and a sea otter in the style of girl with a pearl earring by the Dutch painter Vermeer and a bowl of soup that looks like a monster knitted out of wool." Unquote. Given all that, we must admit, it's one of the most creative and fun things to play with as the article also highlights the words of the CEO of OpenAI with the words, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, the company that created DAL-E2, called it the most delightful thing to play with we've created so far, and fun in a way I haven't felt from technology in a while. But there's obviously a thick processing involved in the 10 seconds you wait to be blown away one after another image output, and for that we need to take a deeper look into its mechanisms, and before you click away for the sciency part, we'll dumb it down to two steps. And no, it doesn't involve extracting insights from datasets because, let's be real, what dataset do you think exists for such a weird textual descriptions like Gollum writes his autobiography? If anything, creativity isn't mass produced as a standardized product and as such, there's just no particular set of really specific inputs for things like golems dressed as a writer or an astronaut riding a horse. How does it create perfect art? So if the classical learning approach for AI fails to apply here, then how does this really work? Since it has no predefined specific data to use as direct inputs, it has to be creative and generate original results every time. And for that, as we revealed before, there are two components. So DAL-E2 uses another similar technology by OpenAI called CLIP, which is basically a computer vision system and it also simultaneously makes use of another technology, again from OpenAI called GPT-3, which we've talked about before, and here it's essential to make sense of and comprehend the language part entered by users. Let's first explore CLIP, which expands to Contrastive Learning Image Pre-Training Model and the video by Cold Fusion also has explained this very accurately in the following words. The main idea behind CLIP is to pre-train a natural language model and an image classification model simultaneously. It does this by using a lot of labeled images that were extracted from the internet. The CLIP system was able to look at a given image and describe its contents in a way that humans can understand. The OpenAI team essentially reversed that process 
Instead of looking at an image and describing its contents, a user would describe the contents and the AI would build it. However, the most interesting part is where DALL-E has to predict and mimic human preference to make the output more pleasing to the users. For this part, OpenAI, using their aesthetic quality comparison mechanism, has also trained DALL-E2 with what they've modeled as a kind of data set that defines which data is comparatively more pleasing. This means that the AI has learned which types of image structures are more preferred over others. Now for this whole process of training, they used GPT-3 to generate exactly 512 artistic captions and then the predicting human aesthetic judgment part was where DALL-E was given access to the AVA dataset from which it would get to use hand-labeled video data to predict what's looking more well-rounded and what looks odd or displeasing. Now if you think about it, predicting what we'd prefer makes this AI seem exceptional. Results of what DALL-E can do. So these two steps really wind up to create a unified sense of some admirable creativity, seeing as how, for the first time in history, creativity has been made into a process compared to an abstract concept. And compared to GPT-3, which we covered in our previous videos, this AI still stands tall, mostly because of how stimulating it can get compared to worded creativity. But the main plus points in what DAL-E2 can accomplish are immense compared to the same state-of-the-art AI system just about a year ago as highlighted by Cold Fusion's video. The original DAL-E was limited. It could only render images from text prompts in a cartoonish manner. In contrast, the new DAL-E2 system generates high-quality, high-resolution images, complete with complex backgrounds, depth of field effects, realistic shadows, shading and reflections. The resolution is also higher. It also does its job much quicker, only taking about 10 seconds to generate images. It also includes new capabilities, like editing an existing image. So to take a longer peek into the vast potential of DALL-E 2, here's our top picks of the best illustrations and visuals cooked up by this trippy AI when people started playing around with it. T. Karen Chang, an Instagram artist, tested this program to see how good it can be at art. Shirt walking up a staircase. 10 seconds and then it will generate an image that's brand new. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty good. Um, let me try. Oh, a girl walking up an infinity staircase. Whoa. Oh my god. And not just this. People have been experimenting with this program all around, so let's give you the highlights of some of the coolest results from this technology tested out there. First up is an aesthetically innovative idea of asking to draw a dolphin in a spacesuit on Saturn's art station. Doesn't it make you curious as to how DALL-E came up with forming a dolphin-shaped spacesuit? Obviously the fins and tail and the streamlined head isn't exactly the usual design of a spacesuit, so improvising a fit for dolphins, besides that's not the only decision it's making here. Notice the colors on Saturn. Notice the pose of the dolphin because you don't just accidentally make a photo look so natural in the sense it makes. Let's take another text prompt, this time of a 70s yearbook with animals dressed as students. Again, we can see the poses of each animal's face. It's upright and natural looking. It all comes together and looks incredibly coherent and acceptable as an abstract idea. That's what companies had been paying heaps to artists for converting their products into acceptable ideas in the posters and adverts. Here's one more strikingly creative text prompt entered to test DALL-E 2's abilities. An ancient statue frustrated while filing tax returns. The face of frustration blended with how ancient statues look while doing something that never existed in that time? Well, DALL-E is really winning some medals here, isn't it? And that's the gist of how it creates multiple, never-seen-before images for every user who types in something. What does it mean for us? Now on to the part where we turn the mic over to the artists to voice their views on what they think this will do for or against them. And it's already becoming clear that they're going to face substantial loss with this program, providing cheaper than ever solutions to their thing. If you think about it, DALL-E 2 makes them totally redundant, with its far more cheaper and less time-taking turnover, giving clients in the business world a seemingly better option. However, as people have started to talk, let's see if artists are really going to be ruled out next to this efficient option. Let's see what Reddit has in store for us. I need to vent a bit and get some perspective. I feel a bit beaten and depressed because of how much AI can produce amazing works of art. I feel like all the hundreds of hours put in learning are going to waste. My drawing and painting skills will become obsolete. How do you guys feel about this? Or am I overthinking it? 
That's on par with a photo bashing tool. It will not replace skilled artists. And even if it could, it's questionable if the work it creates would generate a copyright. The courts aren't fully decided yet, but they did determine that art created by animals has no copyright. Without that AI-generated artwork is useless to clients. DALI is a novelty. It's not adhering to client demands or expressing a specific skill set. It will not replace skilled humans. If anything, this would be an okay prompt tool to get vague ideas to work from. Having a look at the sub, sure there's some extremely impressive photo bashing for an AI, but a lot of the more technical pieces fall apart when you look closer. But whether or not these comments are coming from being in denial or using logic, one thing is for sure, this is a great tool to at least get the most researched ideas for creating art. Because, think about it, you enter a sentence and this AI scrolls through millions of concept art pieces out there and blends together a piece, taking all that you have or haven't seen into account, giving you the most comprehensively complete idea to use. That said, we've reached the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, making sure to hit the bell icon for more thrilling content like this. That's it for today and we'll see you all in the next one.